The photograph that we are going to review today is by Mark, Max Hertelendi and it shows a cliff along a lake with some trees growing on top of the cliffs. It's a very nice photograph and I think that the black and white is appropriate for this image. It doesn't have a super powerful graphic quality. Uh, we have the cliff, the trees and then the shoreline and then the sea itself or the lake and then eventually the sky so it's not a totally dramatic you know composition as far as graphism but it has a lot of very nice gray shades and of course i don't have the color image so i can't really compare it with the color image to find out if it would be better in color so that's not the point of the review the point of the review is simply to comment on the image as it is and i think there is some very nice uh, gray tones here um, that I think warrant a black and white treatment. The only thing that I would improve on at the level of the tonality of the image is simply the sky here, uh, which I think is very bright. And we can do that very easily by adding a curve in CS4, simply dragging down uh, the curve to darken the sky a little bit and then reopening the shadows by bringing the curve back up. And you can see here what I'm doing. Um, which does achieve the job of, uh, you know, darkening the sky without really affecting the other tones in the image. Actually, also lowering the highlights in the cliff, which I think were a little bit too strong. Um, so that would be the change that I would make to this image. And uh, I think that it would result in, you know, a better quality for the image as a whole. Um, the definitely... Um, you know, the interesting thing about this image is really the tonal quality that it has. So um, we want to do that. So once we have this curve done, we have a much more adequate image for the tonality control part of the image. And the only thing that I could do differently is erase the curve in this area here so that we keep the rocks as they were originally because otherwise we lose a lot of the brilliance of the rock. So, so this way you can see the difference. This is the curve and then this is the curve with the rocks in the foreground left intact as they were in the original photograph. So we only darken the top of the image. And that I think actually works very nicely. And we can also erase part of the curve in the middle of the forest here so that we keep again some of the original tones instead of compressing the tone. Anytime you do a curve like this one here, uh, that has a flat area here, you know, it's a flattened area versus a steeper area, you actually compress the tones and you lose a certain amount of the quality of tonal detail. And so you can recover that by erasing some of these areas. And these are the areas that we erase. I can see it by making the mask visible. Um, so this is uh, basically how the image, I think, look its best here. Um, and we want to keep it like that. Just, yeah, much, much better. So that would be my commentary on this image, is that it needs an adjustment of the tones in the sky in order to really look its best. And fine art printing is really about optimizing all the tones of the image. And we could do some more. We could also darken a little bit at the top here. I could do that very quickly using a cloning brush, um, for example. Where is it? a burning tool which is used to darken areas and a very interesting thing in Photoshop CS4 and we can't see it here but at the top of the screen which is above there is a little checkbox in the burning, dodging and sponge tools in CS4 that says protect tones and when you check that box it darkens the image while protecting the tones it works way better than it did in all of the previous versions of Photoshop. And so here, doing that, we can actually darken the sky a little bit and make it even more dramatic than uh, we had it originally. And, and darken areas that I couldn't darken with curves because curves is a global adjustment, even though I'm erasing part of the curve, while here I have a completely uh, local adjustment. 
And so I can do this and darken the image, darken also the borders a little bit to make the image more focused towards the inside of the image. And so this is what I'm going to go back. We had when I first opened the image and this is what we have now. Quite a dramatic change, okay, um, before, here and after now. Very dramatic change. Much richer tones, okay. We have now silvery tones in the sky and we have a much better um, combination of foreground, background, and middle ground. All of the tones go together. All of the tones work together. Well, before there was a sort of clash, you know, an empty sky and the cliffs were a little bit bright and uh, all of that. So now we've got reorganized the tone, you know, reharmonizing the tones. It's very important for a fine art print to have harmonious tones. So a very nice image, which I think needed some tonal adjustment and uh, would look very nicely printed uh, as it is now and probably we could go even further but for now I've taken care of the major issues here.